ilikuwa bill ambayo inaenda kuchangia kutafuta hela ya kuweza kufanya maendeleo katika nchi yetu bila kukopa madeni kwa sababu tayari tuliridhi deni kubwa sana na tunashukuru rais wetu kwa sababu alisema no deni anymore wacha sisi wenyewe tuweze kujisimamia ndiposa ikawa lazima hiyo bill tuipitishe kwa sababu hiyo bill baada ya budget kupanga ya kwamba ministry gani na gani na gani inaweza kupewa pesa gani bill lazima i mean finance bill lazima ipitishwe ndio pia itafute hizo hela zitatoka wapi bila kukopa hela tena finance bill haipitishwi katika streets za sokoni zetu hapa Kenya finance bill inapitishwa na wabunge kule ndani ya bu ya bunge na hata kama ni kuiangusha lazima tuiangushie ndani ya bunge nyenye mliona tuliketi kwa bunge siku mbili Tuesday na Wednesday kuanzia saa tatu asubuhi mpaka usiku saa sita tukaruka karibu saa saba asubuhi siku mbili sisi tulikuwa na wabunge wa Kenya kwanza pamoja na wale wa azimio wale wa azimio walikuwa wanasema finance bill ni mbaya na hata walikuwa wamewaletea propaganda mingi sasa sisi tukaamua tukutane ndani ya bunge kama ni kuangusha tuangushe sisi wo what kama ni kuipitisha tuipitishe sisi wote finance bill ilipita kwa sababu tulikuwa tumeelewana pamoja na wao ile shida ambayo tulikuwa nayo tumetatua ndani ya bunge ndio mnaona finance bill ilipita but the problem wao watu wa opposition walianza kuja kusema mambo ya propaganda by the time we were coming to try and explain to the people they had already polluted the mindsets but mi niko hapa kuwaambia that finance bill me being a member of the finance committee na hata ruto wako wa hiyo finance committee tuli, we checked clause by clause kipengele kwa kipengele yani step by step and for sure what we want as a government is we want revenue from our own um, from domestic uh, taxes ili tusiendelee kujimba shimo we are already in a hole somewhere na hatukutaka we go deeper and that is why excellency uh, mheshimiwa ruto who is very clever and thank you because tulimpatia kura he wants to transform alongside us this country mambo ya stima mambo ya mabarabara and all the infrastructure we need there is no way we are going to get that if we do not have finances so for sure e finance bill mina furai sana kwa sababu even if you don't believe in it please believe in the members of parliament the around 200 members of parliament who we accepted when we were given facts at sisi mbeleni some of us had not understood well about the uh, finance bill mimi ni kama nikiwa kamadi na polo VAT kwa masuala ya kilimo iliondolewa. Yambolewa iliondolewa. Hawataka kutuambia hiyo. Ya spray ya, ya, ya madudu na kwekwe iliondolewa. Hawataka kutuambia hiyo. Ya ngombe chakula ya madawa ya ngombe na ile chakula ambayo ya lishe ya ngombe VAT imetolewa. Hawatuambii hiyo. Madawa ya wanadamu, human drugs tulipunguza. Hawataka kusema hiyo. Na sababu ya kupunguza ni kuangazia mama mboga. Aweze kufanya biashara ambayo inajulikana an organized business wapate pesa ya photo map waweze kugrow. Hao wataki kutuambia hiyo. Sasa wanatuambia wanataka kwenda kwa barabara. Ya shilingi 1030 makofi. Sasa iko maneno hapa. CPA Julius Ruto. Si mnajua yeye? Huyu mungwana kutoka Kesses. Ametupatia hapa shilingi 1000 Mwanze kuweka makofi juu. Weka mkono juu kabisa na mkiangusha mwangusha mkifatanisha shilingi 1500. Eh? <laughs> Haya, sasa tunataka tuone sonko, si ndio? Hey, sasa hiyo itabidi msimame. Hii itabidi msimame. Msimame. Msimame tuombe kwanza, si ndio? <laughs> Uyu jamaa Polo simeona vile ameongea 
akachekesha watu hapa kidogo kumbali kuwa na jipanga. Ametupatia shilingi elfu moja.